Bryce entered our life in 2004. We called him Mr. Wonderful immediately. Bryce loved technology. He also loved computers. He also loved math and science. Bryce learned how to sew at the local rec centers, uh, and he began to make his own clothing. For us to see that our child was absolutely excelling uh, faster and, and just, we were happy, we were happy. He brought joy to a lot of people. Bryce decided that he wanted to uh, enroll in school early, so the day of the accident, uh, he had just enrolled in college. Uh, the first time I met Bryce, me and him actually went to the same barbershop. And that was actually the first uh, time that I actually saw him. And then he became a part of Men in the Making. And then that's when I kind of watched him grow up in Men in the Making. Men in the Making is a mentoring program. It's teamed up with the uh, St. Pete Police Department and uh, also a few pastors within the community of Pinellas County. We meet every second Saturday at uh, the Allstate Center. And myself, I, I learn a lot myself from the young men. So sometimes the mentors, we become the mentees because they also teach us things. You know, because even as a mentor, we don't know everything. So everything is always evolving, things are changing. Bryce was a person who was able to take advantage of that. He began every Saturday at once a month to be excited about men in the making. A kid that had like, a bright future. You could tell he was going places. Uh, he was one of the kids that was always attentive, always when we were talking. You can tell that he wasn't just hearing us, but he was listening to what we were saying. Bryce had an accident, a tragic accident on August 6th, and immediately the men in the making came to our home and they asked us what did we need. We were in the living room, we were speaking and talking and she took me into his bedroom and I remember seeing all the trophies that he had acquired. Uh, she had a, He had a list of goals for uh, his senior year that he was wishing to accomplish and after seeing that I just knew that there was something that I wanted to do because I was kind of hearing of the burden of the funeral service and I reached out to the other mentors that are part of a men in the making. And at that moment, it was a different requirement from us. Like, it was somebody in the community that needed, like, assistance as far as burying her son. And like I said, when I reached out to the other guys that were in men in the making, they didn't hesitate. My cash app was dinging after that. You know, everybody was pretty much given whatever they could. When we go to uh, places and uh, get opportunity, we love to tell the story. You're 16, you think you're going to live forever, and you think you're invincible. You know, but the realization of it is, if you get behind a vehicle and you don't know what you're doing, you too could be at somebody's funeral home. It is very much a tragedy and we would like parents to know you have, you have to have your kids licensed be before getting behind the wheel of a car so that the deaths and things of this nature won't happen again. <laughs>